Welcome back to the channel, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Welcome to the griddle, guys. Christmas is coming. As you can see, we've got, uh, well, actually, we've got a nor'easter coming in, which isn't a good thing. We might lose power. <laughs> but uh, it's several hours away, though. <laughs> we're doing what we do. We're hanging out. We're having a couple of pops. We're going to cook on the griddle. We're throwing two Christmas apps down. Uh, today, we're not going to cover the cook of how we do those apps. Right. Right. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to cover 10 griddle accessories that we absolutely love. Christmas ideas for, for your loved one. Exactly. And we think that these would make great gifts for the griddler in your life or just buy them for yourself because right. they're awesome. Yeah. Must haves. Must haves. If you do want to learn what we're cooking, today for the two apps. You gotta tune into future videos. Hopefully we get them out before Christmas. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> we'll try though. <laughs> we'll try. All right, stick around. All right, griddle accessory number 10, the bacon press. Uh, it's basically just a weight um, I we I don't actually use it on my bacon. No, do you? Chris, really. you use it on bacon? I don't. I yeah. cut my bacon in half. It doesn't. Here, here we here we go. <laughs> Chris is a cut it's your true. bacon in half evangelist. <laughs> but no, the bacon press is really handy. It's very affordable. Uh, what I use it for is smash burgers. So you know, you, smash burgers are a griddle classic. You guys, you got to make them right. So you put your ball of meat down. I use a piece of parchment paper. Yeah. Put the parchment on top of the beef. Smash the heck out of it with this. I actually even wiggle it a little bit to get it like super, super thin. Wax paper does not work as good as parchment yeah. paper. Don't, yeah, parchment paper works much better. But I think it's like 14 bucks, something like that. If that. If that. If and that. Uh, it's, it's real handy to have. The other thing that it's handy for is uh, like making paninis or if you want to do sort of any uh, press sandwich. We have the jacquard. 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 I don't know. I think it's jacquard. Jacquard meat tenderizer. This thing is phenomenal. It, uh, Nate bought me one. I don't know, six, seven years ago, and I use it all the time. And what it is is a series of knives, probably about, I don't know, I think it was like 40 something or 50 something. It's 48, 48. 48 blades, you can't really see, but as you push this down into the beef, it uh, cuts right through all the muscle, cuts right through all the- uh, Makes all the meat fibers really, really yeah. tiny. Cuts through the fibers, makes it really tiny, so you end up kind of flattening out your steak a bit. You cook it, it kind of sucks back in, but it's still nice and tender for a cheap cut. With the price of beef lately fluctuating so much, it's nice to have that just as an option, you know, as far as to tenderize your beef. Hopefully you guys can hear this over Chris scraping the griddle, but Sorry, Chris, what sorry, you, what I'm busy. Hey, could you make more noise, Chris? <laughs> sorry, I'm busy. What are you putting down there? I got some butter garlic shrimp that I'm very excited. It's a uh, Christmas time, my house, what we think of is shrimp. Spend the money, splurge a little bit, delicious. We do shrimp cocktails. We do some, some of this, some uh, just regular hot buttered garlic shrimp. Delicious. So, this some, is going really, really good right now. You guys smell that? Something that about delicious. butter and garlic cooking. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what, it's amazing. Number eight. Taco holders from Blackstone. I strongly recommend two. I got a family of four. It works out perfect. But. You can put them right on the griddle, put the tacos in there, cook your beef. These things are like taco. Soft or hard shell. Yeah, soft, hard bowl. shell. Starts to warm up the soft shell, warms up the hard shell. It's perfect. Anyways, must have, I recommend too. And uh, it's a game changer. And these are taco machines. So if you guys like yeah. tacos, you need those. I was not a fan of those until I used them at your house. Right. I'll be honest with I, you. I was oh, the yeah. same way. <laughs> I was like, until we like did that gadget. video, which we'll show you guys a clip yeah. of the video that we did already yeah. with that. Yeah, Once they, you see it, it it's, that was amazing. They're yeah, pretty cool. Keeps the whole mess outside. That's the whole point. Plus yeah, it makes them easier to stuff. Yeah, definitely. All right, so that was number eight. Number eight. Number seven, sounds silly guys, towels. Just plain, kind of like shop towels. <laughs> so I buy- Nate's towels. Nate's yeah. towels. So I buy a pack of these. Uh, we'll put a link in the description. It's like 24 towels for like 19 bucks or something like that. But, um, so I do the whole griddle cleaning process that we all do, right? You use the water, you use the scrapers, you use the, um, the paper towels, like a billion of them. But for that, before you finish cleaning the griddle, I always go to a, uh, I go to a terry cloth towel. Wash them before you use them, it takes the lint off. But I find that with the, with the scraper and with the towel, I can really, I feel like it's really, really clean. You're gonna destroy these. They're not meant to be used for anything else. 
Um, Jeff after, and I didn't even know you used those. They did. We didn't but, even know you used I them. I mean, I have them all. I, I keep a stack in my utility closet. They, they look like this when you're done. They're pretty much ruined, right? So you just take them. I rinse them out under hot water, get most of the grease, oil, and what out. And then, um, then you can throw them in the wash and dry them and then reuse them. So, by the way, the shrimp are delicious. <laughs> so, anyways, that's our num that's that's our number seven. Uh, I just find them incredibly useful. Yeah, those are good. I, I think that because of you talking about it, and I never knew you actually used it. I think it's going to cut down on my paper it's, towel use. It will and, cut down. I will use it for that reason. It'll cut down on your paper towel use a little bit. Yeah. But it's really about just that final cleaning, and it's a white towel. So when you when you scrape down your griddle with the towel. And you flip it over and you look at the bottom side and you're like, okay, now I know I've got I've got all the stuff off. You know? So all right, that's good. Good idea. Alright, let's have a shrimp. Number six. Steaming lid. Pretty straightforward. It's uh put it over whatever you're cooking. Vegetables. Vegetables, Chris did an amazing uh surf and turf where he did uh, lobster, lobster tails, tails under it. It was great. Squirt a little awesome. water, steams it. It cooks it, melts cheese. Melts cheese. Phenomenal. And it works, I mean, it's cheap enough. It's a must have, and it's very convenient. You create your own little oven out here with yeah. it real quick. Uh, it works well. It yeah, it works really well. well. Especially yeah. for vegetables. I did a uh, salmon one time, popcorn. skin side down, put it over there, put a little water under it, steams it nicely, cooks it perfect. You did popcorn too, which after doing popcorn on, the, on yeah. that small one, Jeff, you made a. Uh, the, the, yeah. You bought a huge dome. Bought an Ikea bowl, their biggest bowl that they have, and then just drilled a hole in the top and put a little handle in. Yeah. I made the mistake of using a metal handle, so it gets kind <laughs> of hot. But it accomplishes what it's meant to. Exactly. You know? But anyways. So yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's a good one. You should have one. Doesn't take up a lot of room in the cabinet. Should be no. great. Next, number five. Number five. Squirt bottles. If you have a griddle and you don't have squirt bottles, then you shouldn't have a griddle. <laughs> That's my opinion. Water, water, water. You're cleaning in between cooks. You're cleaning before cooks. You're cleaning after cooks. You need this. I would have two water bottles, typically, when I go out. Constant. Um, uh, and then you got your oil. Conveniently the spray. Put it where you want. I mean, it, it's beautiful. You, this should be closer to number one than number five, I wow. think. Tackle holder one. Yeah, right. <laughs> then water bottles. Buy like four, six, or eight of these because you're bound to leave it about that yes. close. And see you later. And then you're bound to have a hole right in the side. <laughs> see you later. Exactly. Worth, Worth having extras. With that. Worth having extras. But anyway, Nate, Nate's throwing some, down some more food. Uh, our second Christmas app. All right, so Christmas classic, Christmas app. Christmas classic is Beef Wellington. In my family, we never had Beef Wellington. I've never actually had Beef Wellington. But, like, they show it on TV, right? The, the puff pastry with the beef in the middle. I'm doing Beef Wellington on the griddle. Nice. All right? So, if you guys want to see how to make this, tune into a future video. But this is going to be beef tenderloin and uh, a different puff pastry. But it's it's delicious. So, what kind of beef is in the middle? Is it filet? Filet, filet mignon? Filet, yeah. It's filet. filet mignon? Yep. You spent the money today. Wow. I like it. Well, because of the way I'm doing it, I only had to spend 20 bucks. Oh, so. that's not bad. And I'm sending you a bill for 10. Yeah. <laughs> Checks in the mail. I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that looks good already. Good. Yeah, these are, these are interesting. Good. All right, what do we get next? We're at four and three. Four and three are a tie between the spatula and the griddle caddy. Uh, I love this spatula. I know there's there's wide spatulas, big fat there's ones. different ones. I'm a big fan of the flexi, skinny, and that's probably because uh, I worked in a couple of different places, and this is like the only spatula we use, yeah. right? But I like that it's super thin, it's super flexible. You can get a lot of tension on it, get it under stuff. The length gives you the ability to flip pretty much anything. Yeah. I like the square edges too. I have a rounded edge one. I don't like it as much as the square edge. I like the square edge. Yeah, I like the the yeah. square edge here. And they have ones with holes in them in the middle too. They, there's a lot of different ones, but they do. Yeah. Can, Can I do have you? one of those beef Wellingtons yet? Yeah, go ahead. Help yourself. Begin. Help yourself. Begin. Begin. Help yourself. Um, do you like the holes or no, no holes? It depends what I'm cooking. If I'm doing something where I really want that stuff, the juice to come out, I, I use when I, you know, two of them. You use two of them, right? Yeah. You use two of them when you're mixing something up really good. If you're doing shrimp, chicken wings, when we do the put the yeah. sauce down, yeah, you want that sauce to go through the holes. I like that. All right, all right. Well, I'm a fan of the solid, but either way. Tie four and three, crisp caddy. Little caddy. 
Guys, this is... Wait a second, have you guys tried these? No, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> My God. The griddle caddy, let me tell you something. This is a must have, I think. Uh, we have it again, hot. three or four. <laughs> Very hot. Crazy hot. Um, it holds all your spices, you know, your salt and pepper, like quart bottles, you know, whatever you need. It has actually a paper towel holder, little hooks here for um, for your, usually those things will have holes on them, you can hang it right there. Uh, it, the griddle caddy, you'll see it in every video. It's nice because you got to go outside. Oh, you're going to take it off? Another use of the spatula. Let's I, take this off. Don't the drop it. Jeez. Don't drop that, dude. Move over the table. Seriously, don't use your don't hands. Drop that. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, look at that. Use the towel, too. Yeah. Good call, yeah. Jeff. Another use for the towel. Wow, that was really good. That's cool off. That is really good. It's really hot. Guys, I mean, I live next door. I brought it to Nate's house. So you'll see this in every video. I, I love the griddle caddy. It's got all your essentials that you need right there. Um, so here, can I give my take on yeah, the griddle keep, caddy? It keeps everything together. Go ahead. Yeah. So my take on the griddle caddy is like, and you whether it's a gas grill or a griddle, right? It's always a pain in the ass depending on where your griddle or grill is in to where in your in kitchen in is. In the in all ten thousand times, right? Yeah. This puts it all together. So you like you take those fifteen trips in and out and yeah. you cut it down to one. That to me is the big selling point for the griddle caddy. And we've actually had subscribers. We've had you guys say. Um, one of the complaints I have is how many times I have to go in and out of the house, yeah. right? Yeah. And it, it uh, a griddle as opposed to a grill. Um, a grill, you basically have a wire brush and a set of tongs, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Griddle, you got a little bit more. You got the square bottles, you got a couple of spatulas, you got your seasoning, you got your paper towels. You can also cook more though, too. Oh yeah, 100%, yeah. 100%. The, the utility of a griddle is way more than a grill, but this makes it more enjoyable. If yeah. you don't have the griddle caddy, you're gonna get aggravated that you have to make all these trips back and forth. When you go camping, you take it with you, you put it right there, you, yeah. you know, you're all, you know who needs this more than anybody? Who? Because he doesn't have back stairs down from his deck. Oh, Hussy! Hussy! <laughs> Hussy. <laughs> you're right, I forgot we, about maybe that. Maybe we'll send yeah. him a little Christmas gift. I think we, we should, should do, do that. that. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't watch the video, otherwise he'll know well, it's we'll coming. Well, we'll send it to him before, before this video comes out. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. We should yeah, do that. Because he was saying that in his video, he was yelling up to his wife. <laughs> yeah. So it's Can you throw down the thing? Yeah. Prime example, prime yeah, example. So. But, so that's four and three. Four and three. Two you, and one coming up next, guys. You guys are going to want to tune in for this Beef Wellington video whenever oh, we I do try a piece. It's I can see if mine's cooled phenomenal. off. Phenomenal. You got crispy. You got that mushroom. You got the tenderloin. You got the tenderloin. Mm. That is just top notch. Wow. Oh my God, that's tender. Nice job, Nate. Nice job. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's mm. even better than the first time I made them. Yeah. It should, it should like be called beef perfect. rarington. It's like just medium, slightly rare. <laughs> it should be oh. called beef rarington. Is yours rare? Perfect, yeah. Mine's only medium rare. Yeah, mine's, oh, like, mine's perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's how, yeah. Beef oh. rarington. Well, those All right, good. well, two and one coming up soon. <laughs> that's tasty. Guys, before we get to two and one, we get a little, little trick, little interesting. Brain teaser. Brain teaser, <laughs> griddle technique for you. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna let you guys guess in the comments what this is. Get a close up of that. Look at this. No, 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 that might give it away. That might give it away. I already asked, it's not seaweed. You guys, you guys, in the comments, let us know if you can figure out what this is, but check this out. This is really cool. What is that? Done. <laughs> yeah, looks like it's alive, man. Those are done. We're gonna season it. No, no, no. I'm gonna. I want to do a whole batch. All right. Just get your oil hot. Are we doing a magic show now? <laughs> it seems like it, doesn't it? Did you buy that slicer that you guys always wanted and cut bacon? <laughs> yeah, right. Cut it's bacon paper for these paper thin, paper thin slices. Right. So now we got a pile of them over here. Chris, take that. Let me get these guys close together. And we got some Smoky Wop rubbing seasoning. Just gonna hit this pretty heavy. And actually, I didn't, Jeff, I wasn't gonna ask you to go on camera with the taste test, but I think I might. Because Jeff, Jeff hasn't had these yet. Chris and I have. Well, you gotta tell me what they are first. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> We'll tell you the not potato It might be chips. super thin sliced pig <laughs> intestine that we haven't washed or cleaned, but you got to eat it anyway. We're still not going to tell you. The, the uh, sub's got to guess. All right, Jeff, so... So you still haven't told me what it is. Dig in. 
as you can see, it's still pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, but the thing, they cool off quick. Just poo it for like two seconds and you'll be fine. What do you think? I still don't know what it is. <laughs> How's it taste though? It's How's freaking it taste? delicious. All right, light, yeah, very light. Is. It's like the thinnest potato chip ever made. It's like, yeah, yeah, that is uh, phenomenal. It took a long time to cook though. <laughs> yeah, it was a second and a half till it was cooked. <laughs> All right, guys. Guys, give us your best guess of what you think this is. Wow. If you know it, we're going to give you a huge thumbs up. Um, yeah. But this was interesting, really good. Nate found it, experimented, really good stuff. We're guessing other griddle channels might follow suit on this one. We're guessing that, <laughs> that might happen. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But. Well, I'll get back to the list. All right. We're going to get to two and one. Two and one. Yep. Yep. Guys, we got number two. Thermal probe. This is essential. You need to have one. Mm -hmm. Whether you're cooking beef, pork, chicken. Chicken specifically. Chicken specifically. <laughs> Turkey tips. This tells all in an instant. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually called an instant read thermometer. Yeah, so Chris go. nailed it. But uh, these are... They, these are essential. They're a little pricey. They're about 80, 80 bucks, 100 bucks. Well worth it. It doesn't die on you. No, they're, they're a quality component. Uh, the tip, you just get the, the very end of it into your meat, and within two seconds, it tells you the exact temperature. And I guarantee you'll save money by the first year with the amount of beef that you won't overcook. Or won't ruin, yeah, exactly. Or sick family members so, from having undercooked chicken. So if your husband's overcooking yeah. or your wife's overcooking, this cures all. <laughs> and I would even add that it's not even just griddling, right? I mean, you're cooking Thanksgiving dinner. We all just went through that last week, right? Yeah. You want to know the temperature of the dark meat versus the white meat? It's like instant. Just yeah. poke it yeah. in, you're good. What I love about it, it is a little pricey, but it, it lasts. I've yeah. had mine. They turned me on to it probably, what, four years ago? I, Three yeah, years probably. Ago? I can't even remember when I bought and that mine's one. Mine's still going strong. Even top chefs carry an instant thermometer. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. really, it makes a difference. So that's number two. Number one. Bum, 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 bum. Number it's, one. Da, 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 da. Number one is the two-handed scraper. I just came this place. Ta-da! Ta-da! Two-handed scraper. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, what it allows you to do is you get a hand back here, a hand here, and you have a nice sharp blade to get against your griddle. Chris, you want to give a quick demo? I was totally against this when Nate wanted to, us all to use one. It's scary. It is scary. But I'll tell you what, I'm so glad. Life is a lot better. And this thing, I mean, look what I pulled that. This has already been cleaned too. Yeah. yeah. With regular clean. So. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that's the advantage to it. The advantage is it gives you the, the leverage and the pressure to break through anything built up on your griddle and really pull it all off. Much more so than just uh, much more so than just this guy. Yeah. This guy works. This guy works a hell of a lot a better. Lot better. Yeah. If you're a new griddle owner. You want this right away. Right you out of the gate. You want to start using this. Yep. From day one. If you're an older griddle like us, you you're might want to start over and then start using this. Yeah. If, you're a, uh, if you have a griddle that you've been cooking on for a couple of months now and you start to use the two-handed scraper, you're going to be terrified the first time you use you're it. You're pulling stuff up that you never thought you would. It's going to screw up your patina. You're going to look at it and you'll be like, what the hell? I just had this perfect black and now, and, well, here's the neighbor's dogs. dogs. <laughs> what the hell? I had this perfect black and now it's like looking all messed up. Is that a dog or a small bear? <laughs> <laughs> but the whole thing is, what this does is it keeps your patina thin. It right. stops that, that buildup that will happen over time that will affect the performance of your griddle. Yeah. Which keeps it cleaner, which keeps, keeps your food it, fresher. You're not getting, yeah. you're not getting keeps any everything of that stuff hotter, in it. Yeah. Keeps your food fresher. The black specks when you didn't put pepper on your food. Right, <laughs> yeah. exactly. That's 100%. what that does. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. If you ever cook anything that has sugar in it, like anything with a barbecue sauce Don't or worry a about sweet it. marinade, <laughs> and your griddle looks like the surface of Mars, right? That thing's gonna take it down like no lickety problem. split. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So that's our number two and our number one. Guys, thank you for joining us. We want to wish everybody happy, happy holidays. holidays. If we could go back to the one minute mark, we probably would have asked you to like and subscribe. So if you're still here, be a huge favor to us if you subscribed. Yes, like, subscribe. See us on Instagram. Oh, uh, Mr. Homeowner, go to uh, his forum. Yes. Check it out. Uh, yes. What is it, is it called? Griddleforums.com. There we go. So yeah. check that out. He just set it up. It's pretty cool. Did it, it, for, the, did cool. it for us, did it for the community. Thank good you, Mr. Dialogue, Homeowner. Good dialogue, good messages. It's, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, again, happy holidays, guys. Enjoy. Hopefully you get some tips. If you have any questions, comments, let us know in the comments. 
we do respond pretty good. So um, we try. We try. Well, two of us yeah. do. Yeah. Jeff, I don't know. Two of us do. One of us doesn't. <laughs> Just kidding, Jeff. See you guys. Non stop. <laughs>